right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to give a story titled, My Girlfriend Keeps Asking Me to Marry Her. And guys, this story is actually more of a quick post rather than an actual long story that you're normally used to hearing from. But this popped up on my phone from Reddit, and I took a look at it, and even though this is only a couple long paragraphs, this pretty much nails it in terms of what a lot of guys experience and go through, especially with girlfriends in their late 20s, okay? Girlfriends that want to settle down and get married. And there are a lot of important lessons just in this little story here. So I'm going to go through this, guys, and then at the end I'm going to tell the guy what I think you ought to do and how to handle it. But before I get into it, I'm going to mention some things that I want you to pay attention to as I read this story. How important it is, for, once again, for guys to always trust their gut and look out for the red flags. Very important. And this guy, as you're going to see, he knows it. Number two, and this is probably the most important lesson of this whole story, how women settle. Women will settle for nice guys, okay? This is so common. You see it in real life. You see it in movies, TV shows. That is the one area that is accurate in shows about the women, that, the girls that settle for these guys they normally wouldn't give the time of day to because they want to get married, okay? They're, they're tired of dating the bad boys and the a-holes, so they settle for the vanilla nice guy. But they're never in love with them. They convince themselves they are, but they're not, okay? And again, you're going to see here, this guy, is he, he, he knows something's up, right? And also remember in this story, another important lesson is how women, they fear the number three zero, thirty, 30. And when they start getting close to 30 and they're not on their way to the altar, that's when they start really, a lot of them start losing it, okay? And last but not least, important things to remember is baggage. Beware women that have lots and lots of baggage. Okay, they all have some baggage. Okay, all girls, all girls have skeletons in the closet. Some have an entire cemetery. Some have Arlington National Cemetery of skeletons in their closets. So really beware of those types. You got to do some digging before you get serious with any of them, if you do. But anyhow, I'm going to go through this guy's thing real quick, and I'm going to get more into what I think he ought to do in this whole situation. Again, the title is, My Girlfriend, He's Asking Me to Marry Her. It starts off, I am a 27-year-old male with my mate, a 27-year-old female. I don't really recall hearing many people refer to their girlfriends as their mate. I'd like to know where this guy's from. We've been dating for four months. Pay attention to that. Four months, guys. Four months, and there's already been multiple talks on her end of marriage. It has become a daily occurrence of just hearing the mention of marriage. Sometimes she jokes, sometimes she's serious. I have told her multiple times to please stop bringing up the topic as I have a hard time dealing with my anxiety and big life changes such as marriage kind of freak me out. As a result of explaining my situation, it just makes her do it more in subtle manners. Okay, so four months, four months are together and she's already bringing up marriage and now she's bringing up all the time. You gotta be kidding me. Maybe after, I don't know, two years, but four months? What does this tell you? Somebody's in a hurry. She is absolutely in a hurry, okay? And you're going to, believe me, you can tell this guy isn't a top high value guy, okay? So what does that mean when all of a sudden a woman is now a woman that type that you actually really want to be with, is paying attention to and is rushing into the, the whole marriage thing? That says a lot. Red flags, gentlemen. And again, she's almost 30. She's 27 years old. Now, listen to more as I go on here. He says, just yesterday I noticed one of her new credit cards has her ex-husband's last name. Notice that, ex-husband's last name. She's already been married. She's already been married, divorced, and now she's rushing to get into marriage number two. Does that sound very smart to you? Does that make a whole lot of sense? Nope. But again, many fear that big three zero, so they're going to rush into it and find themselves a nice guy. When I asked her about it, she said she didn't want to change it back to her maiden name because she knows we are meant for each other and there's no point in doing it, doing it twice. This chick is crazy. She's rushing him. She's impatient. She's crazy. And this guy needs to get the hell away from her. I've been trying to look past that and enjoy the moment, but every time the topic is brought up, it just feels like my anxiety is building up. I really like her, but she's coming with a lot of baggage from previous relationships and how she just wants to settle down with a nice guy. Ding, ding, ding. I feel like I'm nothing more than a means to an end and that any nice guy can or will do. There's more information and smaller things that bother me, but this is the bigger, the big triggering factor. So, 
I could, I got told, I told you this is quick, guys, but lots of lessons here. So, okay, in no particular order. She's 27, he's 27, and she's pushing it after four months to get married. That is crazy. That is way, here you go with the sirens, four months, that is way too soon. We, it should be a couple of years at least. So, guys, if you ever have a girl rushing you into something like this and you'll only be dating a few months, that is a giant red flag. Something is up there while she's rushing this. And no surprise, she's 27 years old, so she's freaking out about the big three zero. So many women freak out about that number because they feel like if they are not married or at least on their way to be married, that they're big, giant losers, which is ridiculous, okay? But that's how a lot of them think. And so you can have girls that will be with guys all through their teens, uh, college, 20s, they'll date the bad boys, okay? They'll date the guy, the a-holes that they know are fun, that are a challenge, mysterious, the, the Chads and Tyrones, they ride the carousel with those types, and they don't give the nice guy the time of day. Then as they start getting up there towards 30, panic starts because they realize, oh no, you know, I'm not, I'm, maybe it's their grandma pressuring them, their moms, their aunties, who the hell knows? But panic begins for a lot and they want to get married because they feel like big losers if they're not. Meanwhile, they had plenty of opportunities with nice guys over the years, but they weren't interested in them. But now they're interested in nice guys, so they're gonna rush in and pick a guy they normally wouldn't give the time of day to. And this guy said right here, his gut told him that he thinks that pretty much she could would do this with any, any, any guy would do, okay? His gut is telling him something, and he should listen to his gut. As with any of you guys in a situation, any bad situation or any situation, always trust your instinct, trust your gut. Because your gut, it, it, it knows all. Okay, something doesn't feel right, listen to your stomach, listen to your gut. And in a situation here, you know something's up. So you always have to trust your gut, guys. But she's rushing into this for the nice guy. And I've said many times before, guys, and I'll say it again. They'll date the bad boys forever, but then they realize, oh shit, I, I'm almost 30 or whatever, and I want to get married. They, women can pick a nice guy out a mile away. When I say a nice guy, I'm talking about marriage material. The guy that will eventually become the dorky dad. And so many guys spend all those years frustrated they don't get the girls they really want. And then all of a sudden, late 20s, like this guy, or a lot of times in their 30s, these women start paying attention to them. And they start thinking like, yes, I got her. I got the girl. Finally, I got the girl. Yes, because I got this car, or I got this job, or I'm making this money. Yeah, I'm finally going to win. No, you didn't get her. She settles. Okay, she's settling because she realizes she's not going to get what she wants with the bad boys or the types of guys she really wants, the high value guys. They're not interested in settling and they're certainly not interested in settling for her. So they're going to go for the guys that they passed over back in the day because they know these guys are a sure thing. So don't fall for this. I, that is the, the most important thing I can get, I can I can put, put in this video here is don't fall for that. If you, if you throughout your life, your teen, junior high, high school, college, 20s, girls really weren't interested in you, but now all of a sudden they are and you really haven't changed. You, you still are a little overweight or you still dress kind of badly or you still haven't, your personality and social skills hasn't really improved. The only thing that's improved is maybe you got a job and some resources and all of a sudden they're paying attention to you. That's what's going on. And some people may say, oh, you know, maybe they grew up. Maybe they just realized I was going for the wrong guys da, 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 and they grew up. No, nope. they're settling. That's what's going on. And mark my words, if you go along with this, I promise you they're never going to look at you and treat you the same as they would a guy who they saw as a prize, okay? They're never going to treat you that, that way. They're not going to talk to you that way. They're not going to treat you that way. They're not going to look at you that way. And they sure, they sure as hell are not going to treat you that way in the bedroom. Mark my words. So why do you think, amongst many of the reasons, many marriages end in divorce? There, there's lots of reasons. But another contributing factor is many women settle for guys they want to give the time of day to. And the guys are like, hey, cool, I got this hot girl. And oftentimes, eventually, especially nowadays when it's become more common and you have no-fault divorce states, a lot of times the women either end up cheating on the guy, having affairs not long after they get married or eventually, or eventually just ending with the guy and they make out like bandits because of no-fault divorce states and other laws from the family courts that benefit the women. So be aware of this, guys. That's the most important lesson out of here. And as for a girl pressuring you, never let anybody pressure you into anything. You do what you want to do on your own timeline, okay? So this guy here, he, said, he says he's just having fun. 
He just wants to hang out and all that and have a good time. That's pretty much, I'm, I'm paraphrasing this. Then he should do that. Anybody else in a situation like that, just have a good time and all that. And if she gets pressuring and pressuring and pressuring, basically say, hey, look, you're either going to drop this or I'm out of here. End of story. I lay down the law. That's what this guy should do. But you can just tell when this guy keeps whining about his anxiety, because let's be honest here, I'm going to call him out on this. You know, he's, I got anxiety for this or I got anxiety for this. You know, that doesn't sound very masculine to me. But he doesn't need that bullshit, okay? But this girl, as he as it says in here, she found herself her nice guy, and she's trying to push it as fast as she can because in her mind, hey, I can get this guy, okay? You know, I, I can I can wear him down. He'll eventually marry me, and that way I don't have to feel like I'm a loser and all that. And again, the baggage department. Guys, all women have baggage. All have baggage. All got skeletons in the closet. Even the sweetest, most innocent-looking girls, they got, in fact, they're usually worse. The church girls, they're usually way worse. But you got women that have a whole cemetery in their closet, okay? Those are the types with baggage. You don't need you can you can have fun with them, you can hook up with them, but girlfriend material, for, forget it. Let alone wife material if you want to go down that path one day. Okay? So right here, she's pressuring him. She's been married twice. Ding ding ding. He says she has all his baggage. This is a bad idea. This guy needs to bail. He needs to get the hell out of there. So that's what I'd recommend him to do. I tell him just to walk away and move on. You're the nice guy that she's settling for. She's not with you for you, okay? As much as that may hurt, you got to accept that and understand that. Anybody that's pressuring you like this consistently, it's, you're not having fun anymore. And, of course, the baggage. You, all that baggage is going to become your problem if you actually get serious with her, stay with her, and marry her. You don't need that, guys. I want you guys to have an easygoing, smooth, drama-free life. And you're not going to have that by inviting people like this into your life. So, I don't care how good looking she is, I don't care how big her chest is, how great her ass looks in a pair of jeans, how crazy she is in bed at the moment when she's trying to get you. Don't ever be pressured in anything. Trust your gut. And certainly if she's got baggage, because I know the old hot crazy scale, and that really is dead on, it seems that the hotter they are, the crazier they are, and they, that crazy can be a turn on sometimes in the sack. It's not worth it, okay? So do yourself a favor, and you guys in a situation like this, or this guy, if he happens to see this video, move on. Uh-uh, you do not do this. She's settling, and you're in your life. And you don't want, and guys, you don't want to be with someone that's just going to settle for you. Think about it. I mean, come on here. You know, if you're going to actually do relationships, and I know a lot of you guys do, you want someone that actually really likes you for you and has fun fun with you and is interested in you and your life and what you want to do and all that. I know I got a lot of uh, relationship guys that watch me, so I'm just pointing that out. But uh, but just getting some girl is just settling for you because and you're going to go along because she's hot? Come on here. Don't fool yourself. You're not going to have the happy situation that you think you are, okay? You, you can't lie to yourself, guys. So, but anyhow, guys, that's a very, it's a quick video, but this thing popped up on my phone. I read it, so I, I got to do a video on this just to, just to reinforce things I talk about all the time. All these things you got to remember, guys, very important lessons. Red flags, trusting your gut, avoid the girls with baggage, not relationship material, and certainly don't let yourself be pushed into it because they are, are trying to settle, they're freaking out about turning 30, or if they're getting older, even 40 even, and honestly, the nice guy, they can pick him out a mile away. Don't let that happen to you. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know, guys, if you've been in a situation like this when you've been pressured a lot and how you handle it. Let me know in the comment section. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.